I'm here with Lion Sandy Griffin. Lion Sandy has spent an awful lot of time raising puppies. Hardest job in the world because how can you not want to keep these dogs around you forever? Sandy, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Well, I get these puppies from our school in Rochester, Michigan, where they are bred for this purpose. There's 85 dogs in the breeding stock. Then I pick Ivy up, sign a volunteer contract, bring her back to Abilene, Texas, where she will stay with me for 12 full months. And during that time, you're right, we become very close. But during that time, I have a list of things that I need her to learn. I teach the dogs, the puppies, the basics that they need to lead the blind. And once I perform those duties, and she knows them well, generally it's right down to the wire, <laughs> that my 12 months are up and it's time for me to return her to Rochester, Michi Michigan and the leader dogs for the blind school. Not a good day. That's got to be heartbreaking to leave such a wonderful puppy and, and send her on her way, but then you know what she's going to go do yeah. and how many people mm. she's going to help. How can people get more involved with leader dogs? I think if, number one, if they just talk to their local Lions Club, that each Lions Club sends a dollar amount or more up to the school to help support these animals and in the endeavors to make them healthy, make them accessible, and make them free to the blind. That's what lions do. Thank you, and thank you, Ivy Green. If you'd like more information about the Leader Dog Program, please contact Lion Sandy. Her email address is Griffin, the number two, at Camelot, C A M A L O T T dot com. And I'd be happy to talk with you. And remember, fur or no fur, we serve.